Hey guys, just wanted to pop in here real quick to partake in a cursed tradition I find at once horrid but relatively unobtrusive, and in my confusion between indifference and rage, I deign not speak of it, and that's self-promotion. Questions We Don't Have Answers is a podcast I do with my friend Donovan Grant, uh, whose writing about superheroes and comics is very compelling. You can find it here. And together, what we're asking for is not listeners necessarily, but creative contributors, voices to add to the mix. The way our show works is we pose a question. For example, is it okay to fall in love with a fictional character? Or can you be outraged on other people's behalf? And try to come up with talking points as part of a vague, greater effort to maybe one day solve that problem. And in these discussions of race, sexuality, gender, gun control, politics, news media, we can't possibly know everything logically. And in practice, maybe we know nothing. We do care about everything, but generally speaking, if you had to boil it down, Donovan is as preoccupied with issues of race as I am issues of gender, and that leaves a lot of purely uncharted territory beyond. So at the moment we just throw out these talking points and make our arguments, but they represent incomplete perspectives, of course. We're very passionate about really attempting to work toward solutions, to come up with a language, to apply to these solutions, uh, and to get better at engaging with people about these things, and we can't do that without, uh, you know, people. Uh, without you and what you bring to the table uniquely. So please take a listen and share your thoughts on past episodes and future topics, which I'll start posting on the Bagels After Midnight feed right here. You can reach us at qnoanswers at gmail.com and find us at qnoanswers.com and on iTunes at qno... Yeah, but don't take it from me. Here's a clip to play us out. Us. Uh, and so that's why, like, really, Donovan and I should have pushed harder when it came to Scarlett Johansson and Ghost in the Shell. Like, we <laughs> yeah. should have been all like, well, technically, you know, it, you know, um, because it is it is much more. It's, it's like it's kind of like the Emily's Emily's list principle where it's like, you know, they're an organization that pushes for female politicians. Um, and sometimes they promote like politicians who suck or have like harmful policies. But it's like, you know, what's more important is that we get representation um, because honestly, like legislation can only mean so much, uh, especially for future generations down the road. Um, what matters uh, at, at its most paramount is is representation and what that means um, for the people watching. Uh, and uh, you know, uh, what the what the fuck? Like what? What, what that means is a celebration of individuals. I think. Yeah. Um, you know, <clears throat> like like, like uh, you know, people. People don't people don't like feeling that that their life experience is invalidated because they don't see it in media, or if they see it in media, it's, it's sort of misrepresented, or it's there's there's one side but not another side, um, and that's sort of the thing that, that I'm seeing like it's on the point where it's like every day, 